Exactly. But see, one of the ways that he tries to lure me, for instance, once we share our fun, oh, uh -huh. Heavenly Father, once we share our fun, um, then, you know, this is what he does. Okay, I'm cleaned up, I'm showered, I want to go to sleep, get ready to start our day, uh -huh. the next day. Okay, you know I'm talking real. He wants to bring, like, when I'm asleep, he wants to bring, like, potato salad to bed. He wants to put it on my back. Next thing I know, he's licking it off my back, eating it off of me, okay? He loves candy yams. I'm laying in the bed, sleep. Next thing I know, I got a yam going up my leg, and he's gr he grudging all of me. You know, he all over my leg with a of candy yam. This is what I'm trying to talk to him about. These are things with him, and see, as far as our issues are concerned, now, I got to get up again and go shower all over again. I love him. I love Sharon. But he takes me to a whole different Mr. extreme. Mr. Ridley, are you bringing a buffet to bed? Come on. Now. <laughs> Great honor. I, uh, I am the kind of man that's very very um, sexually pervasive with her. I mean, look at her. She's beautiful. We have a great time. But candy yams? No. Come on now. So, tell me. A little honey, baby. A little honey. Uh, but not candy yams. Yeah. So you're just talking food selection, yeah, you know, not necessarily. Some, something to have some fun with. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking with a lady that's very, very uh, vocally herself in bed, but she chooses what she'll do and what she won't do. I mean, she's not Amen. sexually adventurous uh, the way she should be. Not until after the vows. Yeah.